All right, folks. God bless you guys, and welcome to This Is It, Before the Fire. Guys, you'll notice there's a, a completely new setup. Let me, let, me, let me have a talk with you all and let you know what's going on. Um, my computer systems, I've never had all so many computers at one time doing all the wrong things. So I had to go get some professional help with them. So um, my last uh, computer to pick up uh, was today. It wasn't ready. I'm getting this whole area ready. So let me show you what's going to happen here. So I'm going to have the ability to mark on these, this whiteboard. Um, I'm going to have a whole lot more versatility where I'm doing this video now. Uh, I told you in the last video what I have to deliver. It is so far beyond uh, even what I was ready for in understanding. It's just, I just, it's going to blow you away. It's perfect. It's absolute perfection in the delivery of, of understanding. Let me, let me show you some real quick. Let me, let me just show you guys. Let me remind you of something. Okay. This image right here is a, is a sheep with its tongue sticking out. I've just made it very simple for you to see it. There's the eye right here. So here's an eye. Here's the other eye right here. So once I've identified the eyes, eye here and eye here, you just come down the face to the cheek right here. Here's a nostril, line in the lip. There's the tongue sticking out. And then, you know, obviously here's the ear right here. There's the other ear going over here. And I went around it with uh, the colors of a rainbow because in the original image, that's what it has. Now I'm going to shrink it down and I'm going to put it side by side. One way right here, it's the virgin. But when you turn this virgin upside down, it's a dead sheep. Okay, I told you all the night I got saved. Uh, I was, I was, I was told, pray our father with, uh, Michael stepped up to me, said, pray with me, my brother. And we said, our father to the sky. And after water and light came down on me, I know y'all have heard it repetitively, but I need to go over it very quickly. After I prayed that prayer, our father, our father, male figure, water and light came down on me and I was filled with the Holy Spirit. I was anointed. And then after that, Michael looked at me and he said, you say Hail Mary. Let me tell you something, guys. It's been my testimony from the beginning that, that I felt death. I felt a quantitative amount of light leaving my body as the words exited my mouth because saying a Hail Mary is absolutely wrong. You don't pray to Mother Goddess. But now my testimony is going to prove out to be the most profound, the most powerful, the most world-changing testimony ever because that that moment that's been documented now has come full circle to the very final revelation that the Lord gave me from going to the desert so we can understand the entire Bible. It's, it's so mind boggling that there's no way it could have happened except the way he did it. I mean, the way he rolled it out was just, it's pure genius because all the data is already done. I've been showing it to you for years. <laughs> he made sure. He knew exactly what he was doing. So he made sure that I've inundated you with all this stuff where the virgin, you turn it upside down, it's a dead sheep. The largest altar in the world is a dead sheep. So let's just look at a, at a couple of those things, you know, a couple of these things I'm talking about. Let's go to album four. So again, let's just let's just reiterate because tonight, let me tell you what I'm going to do tonight. Tonight is an equipment check. It's an it's a check with my new system. I'm going to I'm going to play a video that Alyssa Howard, a friend of mine uh, from Canada, her and her husband and her children, they were in Grand Junction and Alyssa has been helping out with ministry stuff for a while. Anyway, Alyssa did a very 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 good uh edited video with a lot of the data that I've given you guys. And uh, I'm just led to share it with you because she did such an excellent job on it. Um, it's just something so you guys can like watch and you can go over some of the data in a, a very well done video. So it's just something really cool to watch right now. But I'm getting ready for this delivery that I, I told you was coming. It is a game changer. It is a world changer. It is an end of the world final revelation because I even asked the Lord, I said, well, why is this important? Why are you showing this to me now? Because I know the ends here, right? And I heard in my spirit because all things must be fulfilled 
And the Bible says everything that's secret will be made public. This is one of the greatest mysteries of the Bible, and it resolves everything. And when you see it, and you see the perfection of it, you, you're you're literally you're gonna you're gonna go, my God, I've reached the apex of understanding the world that we live in, who we are, why we're here, what the situation is. You're really gonna just be like so floored. It's 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 perfection. It's perfection, not just in biblical revelation. It's perfection in physics and biology and everything. It's it's mind destroying. So anyway, I don't want to just keep going on about it. I but I want to remind you of something. So I did this, and I took a, an actual sheep right here, and I put it right below the altar of Saint Peter because these are things that the Lord God the, look. The creator of everything. This is his revelation. This is not me. I don't get any, I don't want any kudos. The Lord God did this. I'm just a messenger. I'm just the one that he had predestined to do this. And so I'm, I'm trying to be as faithful as I can to deliver what he shows me uh, in a timely fashion. I'm a little stressed out, to be honest. Uh, let me just look at you guys. Guys, I'm a little stressed out because he's given me so much data since the desert that I can't, it's too much. I can't process it. And it's like, how do I get all this out? How do I give like 20 testimonies, every one of them supernatural and deliver the data and give these guys all this stuff? It's almost impossible, especially with computer problems. <laughs> I'm like, ah. and, and then the Lord assured me, just relax. I'm giving it to you how I want you to get it. Because let me tell you something. I wasn't ready to give to you what I have right now yesterday. He just keeps adding to it to make sure I fully grasp it. You know how the scriptures are? It says, you know, now that you've taken on the milk, you know, of the word move, uh, you're no longer babes in Christ and you need to be off milk and, and into the more uh, like the meat of the word. Well, when you consume the word of God, you have to take a while to digest it. And sit there and like, whoa, because I've been just taking this in for the last several days going like, this is so insane, so profound. You'll know that you understand the mystery of literally everything. It's that mind boggling. It's the, it's the mystery of everything. It's the resolution of the Bible. I know that sounds hard to believe, right? It's like. But how much stuff have you seen here? Let me ask you this, watch. Look what you've seen here. No, I just want to show you what you've seen here. The largest church in the world right here, the Vatican, that claims to be Christian is really built in the shape of a snake wearing a crown. There's the sidewalk that goes to the halls of government. It's a split tongue. It speaks truth and lies because the serpent's kingdom speaks truth and lies. Now, the mouth of that serpent, the, the window right there where the mouth of the serpent is, is this, is this, Right here, this light coming in through this circle above the uh, dead sheep. I'll just slide this sheep over. Look. So see, this is what the Lord God revealed to the guy that's speaking to you. Look, there's there's a dead sheep. So the largest altar in the world is really a dead sheep, but it's hidden in plain sight. More than that, it's a penis ejaculating right there. And so all the angels that make up the sheep's fleece, all these angels... They're all melting into semen. I mean, don't y'all think that's pretty pretty wild? I mean, who the hell shows you something like that? <laughs> I mean, it's like you don't see any preachers, hey, check out all the angels melting into semen. I'm showing it to you. You know, that's exactly what Genesis 1 verse 2 says. Most people don't know their Bible. But let's see if I can pull up uh, Esort. There we go. The Like I said, my computers are doing such weird things that for me to pull up programs now is even a, a chore. It's like it's it's not like it used to be. So anyway, I'm working with everything I got and uh, I'm going to have it all just running ship shape before I start, because once I start this dissemination of information, I am not going to stop.
So see, you can you can see this is new because I have my Bibles way more highlighted than this. But and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the see the spirit of Elohim. It says Elohim. Elohim is not El, the Almighty God. Elohim is gods that are of the supreme God. Now again, I want to help you out. The Lord God made Elohim. Don't forget that. So the Lord God, El. The Almighty God, that's why Jesus is Emmanuel. Emmanu means with us is. And then El is Hebrew word for 10, the Almighty God. So El made Elohim. Okay. So Elohim broke apart. And this thing that you call the earth was started by Elohim. It says it right here. It says it right here because our God resides in heaven. The earth is his footstool. In the beginning, God, right there, Elohim, created the heaven and the earth. Now, don't forget, the Lord God created them. So everything that's created is still created by the Lord God. So I just want to make sure because some people get really hung up. So anyway, so let me show you. And the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Elohim, look right here. Gods of the Supreme God moved upon the face. And this is so important that you understand this. The face as the part that turns. Think about uh, think about being turned from up to down as the part that turns. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters right there. Watch. See it? Semen. Okay, so I'm showing you in the scriptures. It says the Spirit of angels, God's angels, magistrates, moved upon the face of the semen. Okay, now I'm going to show you that exact thing inside of a big serpent. I'm going to show you that same exact picture. There, right there. So these are all angels. See all the angels right here? They're all angels right here. Here they are. And they're melting into semen. So the spirit of Elohim, there they are, God's angels, magistrates of the supreme God. The spirit of Elohim moved over the semen. And there's all the semen running down the sides of a chair that you thought was just a chair, but it's really the male and female reproductive system, respectively. One right side up, one upside down. Okay, hopefully that's not going to be a problem like network error, but because, man, I'm dealing with so many issues. Let's see if we can get this thing to go. See, these are these are some of the things I'm, I'm dealing with, and I don't, I'll have to make sure everything gets resolved in its own way, but Let's see. Let's go to album four if we can. There we go. So anyway, so here's the point I, I want to make uh, tonight. I am testing this equipment just like right now. What just happened shows there was a service interruption during the production of this video. I can't have that because I'm going to be running three to four to five, six hours coming at you. I'm, I, I am literally taking the cumulative sum of the data. The supernatural data that, like I just showed you, I just showed you Genesis 1 verse 2 from the Bible, the spirit of Elohim moved over the semen. I showed you a verse that probably no one's ever shown the world before. And I showed you an altar that is exactly that verse. Who can do that? Okay, I can't, I guarantee you, but the Lord God can, and he can use who he wants to do it. And that's what's going on here. So just to be clear. So anyway, so. So I'm going to be I'm going to be going over this stuff and I'm going to be showing you just how profound uh see here we go a, net, a network change was detected that's not good so look I I I colored this in so you guys can see it and so you have I noticed there's all these females see these are females female female the females are like grown up you know they're they I mean the the females in this imagery are grown up. All the angels that are up top that are the males, I notice they're like they're like little children. It's pretty wild. But anyway, I know the reason why now, all this, all of it. I know the reason for Madonna coming up from the pit with one X over her eye and another X on her chest. Besides the insect thing that was already shown to me. I know the reason why two girls are dancing around at the women's march. Remember in LA wearing pink dresses, vaginas. And when Millie Weaver said, 
how long did it take you to make their costumes? And the one girl dressed as a vagina is twin vaginas. She looks and goes, from the beginning of time. Remember? I know the answers to all that now. All of it. And the Lord revealed it. So I'm going to give it to you guys as a gift. Because the Lord gave it to me as a gift. So anyway, so these great mysteries. The largest altar in the world is a bug. The largest altar in the world is a dead sheep. And the part that's the dead sheep, the penis that's the chair, is is a penis going in the mouth of a bug. That, I mean, that should blow your mind to a level that you should be like, whoa, freak out. Yeah, but I've got something even bigger, even bigger than that. I'm, I'm looking right at you. Bigger than all of it. Yep. The Lord had to take me to a de the desert. He had to put me in like a little Garden of Eden situation. It literally was a little utopia in the middle of the desert in order to reveal to me the final part of the puzzle that I thought I completely already understood. Uh, close, but it's, it's bigger than you think. So anyway, so here's what I want to do tonight. I want to test this equipment, and one way I'm going to test it, I'm going to play Alyssa Howard's video that she did such a great job on. I'm going to like sit here and mess around with. The, look, I've got this desk that I put in here that's gone wheels, and so like I can wheel it way over there. I can draw on the board. I can grab the desk. I can wheel it back. I have a thing on this that I can change the height of the desk, and so you know I can really work on it. I gotta, I gotta work on some lighting and stuff. Because when I present this stuff, guys, I want to do the very best job I can do for you and for the, for my father. I want to I want to I want to make my dad proud. I mean, he paid for me with his blood, so I want to make him proud. I want to do the very best I can, and I want I want you guys to have the best chance of just. Ugh, I want y'all to freak out. Cat uh, and Corey and Michael and Dave. There are well, Dave's kind of even kill. He doesn't get real. Uh, blown away, but man, I mean, Michael and Kat and Corey are just like, <laughs> it's so mind boggling. All right, so let me play with this a little bit. Let's do this. Let me see if I was to sit here and write the letter A. Yep, y'all could see that. No problem. So I'm going to be doing diagrams during the video. So, you know, I can draw stuff so you guys can understand it. While I draw it, I can pull up a video on YouTube and say what you're watching right now is exactly what's up here on this board. And so I can do a lot better for you uh, using, you know, diagrams and uh, tools I've, I've made available now uh, to help you guys. Because, you know, the most important thing the Lord showed me was the identity of Christ. Number one most important thing is the identity of Christ, knowing that he is Emmanuel, with us is El, the Almighty God. He is not Emmanuel Elohim, he's Emmanuel, El, the Almighty God. Elohim is what broke away and started this whole thing you call the earth. And so I'm going to prove all that out in a no sweat at all, easy to prove now. And so I'll take all the applicable data, got him. <laughs> I'll take all the applicable data and uh, I'm going to present it to you in the very best way I, I know how. Um, I can even see this like turning into a DVD because it's that important. So we'll see what happens. I don't know, um, but let's get started tonight. Okay. Anyway, I want to check in too. I love you guys. Uh, just major group hug. I love you guys. Oh, don't have anything to hug except just virtual hug. Virtual hug from Johnny. Give me a hug. Reach out. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. So let's do the Alyssa Howard video. She took a, a, a cumulative sum of a lot of my data, and she did a very good, you know, edited production. Um, now, one thing I'm always very clear about, if there's something in the production that, you know, you see and you're like, well, that's not what you said, just relax, okay, please. I'm just going to play the video so make sure everything tests i watched most of the video almost all of it looked pretty good to me um so let's just use it as a way to make sure all my equipment's working and it, it's like i said it was really worth watching so let's do that and then i'll 
stop it, then I'll comment at the end of this. And then I'm working, y'all Y'all have no idea the time I put in to try and deliver this information to you. I have to take it in, and then I, I get all the little, just like the altar and the pictures of the Vatican and all this, and then the Lord leads me places. He leads me all these different places so I can absorb it, and then I pray and talk to him about, him, about it. Then he leads me to something else. He shows me something else. Then I have to absorb it, take it in. Then I have to go to the scriptures. It is a process. And so I really diligently seek him and I diligently seek out what he's trying to tell me. And then he responds and he, you know, I don't want to say throws me a bone, but he throws me a bone like (laughs) this big just to know. So I know I'm like, yes, I got it. And he always makes sure he affirms and confirms what he gives me. That way I have the confidence to deliver it to you because it's not easy. Okay. Anyway, now that I've said all that, blah. Okay, let's do this. I mean, look at look at this information, guys. I mean, look at what you're looking at. I mean, look at Eros and Psyche, an angel kissing a woman, but what is it really? The whole thing's a sheep. See the sheep? There's the sheep's eye right there. There's the sheep's nostril. There's a line in the sheep's lip. So it's a it's a profile of a sheep. That's why I put this sheep right here, because I can slide it right over. Bam! Sheep. Sheep. Why is an angel kissing a a woman a dead sheep? Well, that's funny. The largest altar in the world are a bunch of angels, uh, little male angels up top with a bunch of female angels down below reaching out to them. And then it's all melting into semen. And that's the spirit of Elohim moved over the semen. And let me let me just enlarge this one picture because this is so good. I mean, I, I really kind of just drew it in for you. But look at that. So here all these angels are in blue, melting into semen, and the chair of St. Peter is a penis, and the little crown that two opposing angels are holding, that crown is the seed shooting out of a penis, and it's the male reproductive system. And when you turn the whole thing upside down, what is it? It's the female reproductive system. It's an energy transfer system that we're talking about. If you can just let go of the whole idea of like human host body, and think of an energy transfer system in which energy is transferred. And then when I get into this uh, revelation of Genesis 1 and Genesis 2, and then the coming together of two different spiritual races in Genesis 3, and that's what the whole world really is. It's an energy transfer system. And those that took the bait uh, are angels that are caught in host bodies. And that's I can show it to you all day long now literally all day long. It's not, it's not arguable. I can show it to you everywhere, not just in the Vatican. I can go to clothing lines left and right and show you exactly the same thing. I can go to the hardware store. I can go to the grocery store. I can go anywhere and show it to you now, anywhere. Yeah. So anyway, let's, let's do Alyssa's video. Ready? Let's do this. Okay, here we go. was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth.
Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left to their own habitation. He hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes.
Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us? And who knoweth us? Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates, as it were, breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. Wherefore thus say I'm going to pause it for just a sec because I want you to understand what you're looking at. The top of the Vatican with the little cells. The Lord showed, let me prove to you that the Bible says, Thou dost dwell among scorpions, and it also says, I am against you women, wherefore you hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly. The pillow is a little white part, like on a wasp nest, a little pillow. And if you go read the scriptures, and I've done videos on it where the Lord had me break it down, break down Ezekiel. Um, it's, it's a race of beings hatching from the pit. And so this representation that Alyssa just did right here with the top of the Vatican with the little cells and these pupa hatching from like a hornet's nest, all this stuff was I was led to. The Lord, the Lord God, the creator of everything, led me to this. The largest altar in the world is a bug. It's, a, it's an insect. Well, have you all ever read a book and you know the way the book ends, right? You read a book, you're like, yeah, at the end of the book this happens. Well, at the end of the Bible, you know what happens? Locusts come out of the pit. The earth hatches like an egg. It, there's a great earthquake and out of the and it, there arose smoke out of the pit and out of the smoke there came locusts upon the earth that had tails like unto scorpions. Just go look at the band the scorpions. Send me an angel. Really. Go look at the scorpions uh love drive. Oh really, a bunch of scorpions and a naked girl. Go look at the scorpions album uh, Moment of Glory. A Tyrannosaurus Rex dressed as a woman? What? I know the reason for all that now. Every bit of it. Every single bit. Because now the Lord's revealed the meaning of the Bible. Everything we've been seeing in our lives that we thought, was, oh, the Scorpions, what a great band. I used to love the Scorpions, man. And I'm like, Scorpions, like, you know, like Scorpions from the pit. Because what runs the band, the Scorpion, is the race of beings from the pit. Scorpions. It's that simple. That's who runs them. That's who they serve. That's what's running their host bodies. The scorpions from the pit. You remember the Bible says they had a king over them. Who had a king over them? The scorpions. They, well, it also means to peer about. It means a sentry or a scout. Because thou dost dwell among scorpions. That's what it says in Ezekiel. Thou dost dwell among scorpions. That's that all-seeing eye from the pit. The scorpions. The all-seeing eye of those guys, Elohim. You have a triangle with an all-seeing eye that's up, one with an eye that's down, one goes up, one goes down. I'm going to draw you all these diagrams when we do this. This is the most profound information the world's ever seen, guys. And again, it's not me. I, I the God used the, the God, the Lord God used a miscreant. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! He's like, I'll, I will use the things the world considers foolishness to confound the wise. 
<laughs> That's why he used me. Because the wives are like, oh, there's this guy's a fool's prophet. Like, no, y'all are fuel for a fire that we're going to burn. That's it. That's all there is to it. Anyway, so let's keep going. So these, these scenes right here are really great. Ezekiel, wherefore, it's like right here is even the scripture. It's not, I don't have the scene cropped so well, but it says, where Ezekiel 13, 20, wherefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith you hunt the souls of men to make your pillows fly, and I will tear them from your arms. So she's also having Max McLean read it, which is really awesome. So here's the other thing. I'll post a link to the video to where you can go watch this video uh, at Alyssa's channel in its entirety without me like breaking in and stuff. But this is really well done. This is She's taken the information that the Lord God gave me, and she did a very well stitched together, uh, edited, dramatic representation of it. Really good. Anyway, let's keep watching. Say the Lord God, Behold, I am against your pillows, wherewith ye there hunt the souls to make them fly. And I will tear them from your arms, and will let the souls go, even the souls that ye hunt to make them fly. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. They shall run like mighty men, they shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. They shall run to and fro in the city, they shall run upon the wall, they shall climb up upon the houses, they shall enter in at the windows like a thief.
Okay, I'm going to, like I said, this is a test video, so I'm going to pause it again, just to make sure the program is working. And I want to show you guys something. This, These are bills that I've encased in plastic. There's the 20 made in 1990, 1996. There's the Twin Tower bombing. And there's... There's the Pentagon. Let's see. I want to make, let's see if that's working. There's the Pentagon bombing on the backside, Pentagon. Uh, here's a $10 bill. This is the Twin Towers falling in its own footprint from a down below view. Here is the old $20 bill that was before the one made in 1996. That's interesting. We're having like program issues. Let me pause it. Okay, that's good because I, I want any glitches to play out. Here is the old $20 bill that's before the one made in 1996. That is the federal building bombing in Oklahoma City. Now, these are these are things that the Lord God revealed to the guy that's speaking to you. The, uh, the Twin Tower bombing was shown to me in 2000 and one after the bombing and then uh and then I, when i got saved in 2002 the lord sh sh showed me the little key for understanding all of it and I'll, I'll show it to you so the key was if you draw around the perimeter of any bill watch so if I, i'll take the hundred dollar bill right there so there and so you draw around the perimeter of the bill and then you connect the vertices. And it's those who try and hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them or know what they're doing. They turn everything upside down. So I turn it upside down. That's the star of Satan. So let's start looking at their plans. There's the new $100 bill. There's New York being destroyed by nukes and and water. Um, well, isn't that fascinating? Because, again, remember... Um, the prophetic utterance the Lord God gave me in 2007, right before Obama became president. Behold, the hand of the oppressor has been lifted against you, and out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Water as high as the walls of Jerusalem will cover the city by the sea, and great shall be the destruction of that city. Okay, well, out of the sea shall come fire and smoke and a devouring wind. Go look at hundred dollar bill nuclear devastation type that into youtube hundred dollar bill nuclear devastation the jonathan cleck and i'll show you the three layers of ink on that image and it shows new york being destroyed by a devouring wind who could who could possibly show you that stuff nobody i can't the lord god can though uh then it says water as high as the walls of jerusalem We'll cover the city by the sea. Now, don't forget, these bills weren't even out yet. I think that maybe the tenage, there's a tidal wave coming over a seven-story building. And when I move my finger, you'll see that building's reflection in the water where my finger is. Let's see. We're having like a little glitch on the program. Let's see. Okay, watch. I'll move my finger. There's the building's reflection in the water. There's the seven-story building. Building's reflection in the water. Okay, so how is it I was able to spit out a bunch of words during a prophetic utterance that identically match bombings that y'all have never seen hidden on the U.S. currency? Well, there's only one way, because I'm a servant of the Most High. I work for the Lord God, and he made sure that the words he gave me matched the bombings that are printed on your money. Because those who try and hide their plans, they turn everything upside down. So it looks like I'm running into like a bandwidth thing here on this uh, on this thing. So I'm gonna have to run a I'm gonna have to run an Ethernet cable to the router. This is good. This is this is a good learning thing for me right now. So anyway, so what you're seeing right here is Alyssa put up together uh, what's actually on the hundred dollar bill. This is what you're looking at. So let's uh, let's just keep watching. Here we go. There's the hundred dollar bill.
The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. This is it before the fire. John 3.16 And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. just pause it for just a sec this is really nice so she you know she showed you a bunch of the data cumulative sum put it in a nice little presentation now this is just the from the ring of the bell remember the lord told me when you ring that bell jonathan it's going to ring all the way back to the garden of eden guys i'll be the first to tell you to me i was like what does that even mean how weird is it that i just left the desert a little oasis in the middle of the desert like the garden of eden on my um on my little porch walking into only my little bungalow that was split into two pieces my bungalow cracked all the way up the side and the the caretaker told me they had to pull it together with cables and then pick the whole building up and set it on a rock foundation just think about that two halves get set on the rock does that sound familiar how about I picked up a stone that was split in half? Two halves get put back together into a rock. I wonder what the odds of that are. I wonder what the odds are that my LZ turned half dirty, half clean, and the side that was clean had a running stream in the middle of the desert that was dry the day before. <laughs> I'm just saying. Probably just a coincidence. Anyway, so the point is, this little church building that you're seeing, who builds a building that's 76 inches wide? I've never even heard of it. That's what the Lord had me just build within the parameters of those six by sixes that the shipping containers used to be inside of. So the Lord dictated the, the width of the building. And then I built it as far as I could to the stones that it was all the shipping containers were set on, which was it ended up being 200 inches, 76 in the Bible. And the number 76 is Adam the first man as Christ representative. So the width of a building that's got Jesus on the wall and his crown of thorns turning into dust flying away, and on the other wall, the Led Zeppelin Kata Dynasteo, uh, like a T-Rex or a dragon eating an angel, and a set of twins on the floor burning like the sun. I mean, you couldn't even think this up. No one could even think this up. The guys that say collects a false prophet are the most pathetic, delusional people on the planet. And I, I mean, I, I actually pray for them. I'm like, I wish there was some way that they didn't have to reap the reward of their own foolish tongue. But it's too late. They already stepped off into the mud. There's no way out of it for them. But anyway, the building is 76 inches wide. 76 in the Bible is Adam as Christ's representative. And then 200 is locusts, like from the pit. So the beginning of the Bible is, you know, Adam. Well, it's really Genesis 1, the formation of the serpent race. Genesis 2, the Lord God forms Adam. Genesis 3, they commingle. And then at the end of the Bible, 
that whole commingling and all the souls that got gathered during the whole history of the world that went to the pit, they're going to come out in the form of locusts. That's what the whole story is about. That's what the whole earth is about. The whole thing is about that. The whole thing, the whole human race. I can prove it all day long now. All day long. I can use their clothing lines. I can use stuff at the grocery store. It doesn't matter where I go. I can show it to you everywhere now. And so now this little part right here, you're going to see this is a little church building. And the Lord told me, when you ring that bell, it rings all the way back to the Garden of Eden. I, I was like, I don't even, what does that mean? How weird I ended up in a little desert setting in a place called Chinati Hot Springs. That's literally like a little Garden of Eden in the desert. And on my, on my landing where I walked into my room, it says 1937, which is from the progressive commercial, you know, flow tection. And it has the scorpion stinger like sex flow tection, like semen flowing for them. Flow tection since 1937. The number 1937 in the Bible means lust and desire, which is what got the job done in the garden. Hello. <laughs> it's like, hey, guys, this is no joke. This is it. So anyway, so here is. This is. This is a, a little presentation on the building. And the artwork, this is what the Lord God had me do. And he used this as a way to communicate information to me as well. Just like 76 to 200 from Adam to Locust. Don't forget, the night I got saved, I walked out of that alley and there was a giant stained glass window of Adam down in the Garden of Eden and Christ ascending into heaven from the beginning to the end. I wonder what the odds are of that. I wonder what the odds are that I have a girlfriend named Eleuthera, which means licentious freedom, and I have artwork of myself and Eleuthera in the Garden of Eden before I ever got saved. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, don't you think that's a little bit odd? Uh, yeah. It's all very odd. Anyway, but now it's manifested into absolute perfection and understanding. And I get to deliver a video after I make sure all this is working. I've had some glitches during this video already. I'm already troubleshooting what's going on. I'll probably have to run an Ethernet cable straight to this computer if I do it here because it's starting to it's like signal out and lose signal and I can't have signal going in and out while I'm doing this. I've got to have a steady stream, so I'm going to have to run an Ethernet cable. Anyway, so let's watch a little bit about the church building here that the Lord had me build and so fascinating.
Who are these that fly as a cloud and as doves to their window? So I'm going to pause it there and say, guys, uh, I love you. I, I, I mean, I, I mean, I mean that I, I love you in Christ. I, I wish everyone could be saved. I wish everyone could be saved. Um, you know, it all actually mapped out before it ever even happened. It's so mind boggling, but anyway, um, I'll do the best I can and deliver the best I can to you guys. And I, I, I want to give it my very best. So I'm going to make all this work. I'm going to make it work uh, with the chalkboard and or the dry erase board. I'm going to make it work with this thing that I can pull even closer and get closer to this. Uh, I'm going to have this thing fully functional, fully operational. Uh, I'm, I've got one, one more machine to pick up and, see which works the best and how I can, you know, which one I can rely on the most. Because once I sit down to start doing this, it's you know, three, four, five hours um, of information. Um, but it all started knowing that the virgin meant death. Isn't that fascinating? And it's true. That's why when you turn the virgin upside down, it's a dead sheep. But ready, it's so much bigger than you ever thought. It's so much bigger than I thought. I had no idea until just until I came back, till I landed that skydive. Once I made it, once I lived through the skydive, and the Lord took me back to my room and showed me a few things and then revealed the rest to me, I was just like, Anyway, so I can't wait to share it all with you guys and then share the testimonies. And it's all supernatural. There's no part of it that's not supernatural. So anyway, I'm looking forward to it. And um, that's it. Uh, every now and then I, I do this because this is the way this, is the way this ministry functions. Um, if anybody wants to jump in and help out, here's what I do every now and then. You can go to... The Jonathan Clack, and you can support the channel right here, jk at jonathanclack.com. Uh, there's a uh, by the way, some people have said, or there, there's there's other emails that have been attached to that account that they work also, but you know, that's the way to do it, jk at jonathanclack.com. If you send it to a different email that's at PayPal, it all redirects into that just for your own peace of mind. So, and then if you want. You, we, um, our post office just moved, but I got to keep the same P.O. box, P.O. box 91281 San Antonio, Texas. So like something fell. 78209. So 78209. So to Jay Cleck, P.O. Box 91281, San Antonio, Texas, 78209. So if you want to support the ministry, that's a great place to do it. There, I don't know, uh, you know, uh, just all honesty, I really didn't think there's a chance at all that I'd be make it back from the desert. I mean, I didn't see how there would be since the Lord proved to me. He said, you're coming to meet me face to face. I'm like, he's not kidding. I did meet him face to face in spirit and what he delivered to me. I had to, I had to have that connection to get what I got. There's no other way to get it. And so, uh, I did, I did have Mar come together face to face in spirit, but I thought he meant like, you're coming to meet me, you know, face to face. <laughs> I was like <laughs> a little bit like being called to the principal's office, even though you know, you're not in trouble, it's still a little bit edgy. <laughs> so, anyway so yeah but so anyway so 
I've made it back, obviously, from the desert, but it was so he could deliver the rest of the information, and it's done now. And I've received it. I've gone over it. I've gone through the Bible. I have more, some more I want to go through, but it's all proven out to be absolute perfection. It's mind-boggling. So anyway, so I'm going to deliver it, and uh, you know what would be good for you guys to do? Watch. You, you know how the enemy likes to put all their stuff in plain sight? Go watch Jurassic World and then go watch Fallen Kingdom. Uh, just remember, why is Barack Obama a Tyrannosaurus Rex in his per presidential portrait? I mean, what the hell? A T-Rex? That's kind of wild, right? I wonder why, you know, why they make Obama the serpent in the garden with the, the fang of the serpent a sperm. I know why. Why do they have a little sperm being eaten by a serpent? I know why. It's two different races in which they exist. And I'll be able to prove it all out now using the Bible. Like, I always come with the Bible. That's my trademark. The Lord always sends me with his word. I don't just say, oh, well, God told me this. No. I show up with the Bible, with the Word of God, and the exact perfect definitions and meaning that he shows me. I don't show you my opinion. I show you what the Lord God's taught me. Paul said it. Paul said, I was taught the Bible by no man, but by the revelation of Christ. I was taught the Bible by no man, the revelation of Christ. That's it. So anyway, and I'll give you everything he gives me. <laughs> Victory. His purpose was to what? To make one new man from the two, thus making peace. And this twin female thing is going to blow your minds. Praise God. Y'all pray for Karen. Pray, keep Karen in your prayers, you know, and, and Kathy as well, you know, uh, her sister that's taking care of her. The ones that I went to see in Houston, the one that's got cancer that gave her blank check away for the well-being of others which is the exact opposite of the twin female system. The twin female system is totally cannibalistic, self-centered, self-centric. And there the Lord sent me to meet these twins, and, and one of them has cancer, and the Lord told me whatever she prayed for in faith, he would give her with me. If she prayed with me in faith, he would give her whatever she asked for. And I, I delivered that message, and you know, she asked for the salvation and safety of her husband, her son, and her nephew. Completely unselfish the true essence of Christianity. You're willing to lay down your life so others can live. That's what a Christian is. That's what we do. <laughs> Woohoo! All right, love you guys. I hope this all works. Praise God. Um, you know, a folder y'all might really want to look at is you might want to go all completely over folder four right here. So I think y'all should go over folder four. Um, you know, another folder you should go over is you should go over uh, this folder. Before we do all this, y'all should really go over the, these folders I'm showing you right here. You should go over the Dead Sheep folder. Um, this one right here, Dead Sheep, Serpents, Insects, and Female Reproductive System. We have a common denominator, and boy, do we. I mean, this, this stuff is more valuable than all the money in the world. There's nothing you could give to buy this. You can't buy this. You can't even buy, you can't, if the Lord God lets you understand this, you're like the wealthiest person on the planet to, to be able to receive this. Read Matthew uh, 13. To you, it's been given to understand the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. To them, it is not given. Blessed are your eyes for your eyes see. For many prophets and kings have desired to see what you can see and could not. Blessed are your eyes for your eyes see. Because when you opened your eyes to the truth, it shows you've been converted. Praise God. All right, guys, I love you, man. I hope this all goes well.